What is up, Level Up Design here, and today we have a very special RPG Maker MV Beginners Tutorial. This will be the first video in my Beginners Tutorial series. For anyone who has used RPG Maker before and they still want to catch up on the basics, or for those of you who are brand new to RPG Maker, or for those of you who are interested in getting RPG Maker MV, this tutorial is going to serve for you as a base point for how to start making your dream games in RPG Maker MV. For those of you who don't know, RPG Maker MV is a game creation engine which allows you to create games reminiscent of those that you used to play on the snares and nez like Final Fantasy and, um, well, Final Fantasy. <laughs> anyway, let's get right on into it guys by creating our new project. This can be done by clicking File, New Project, or just by clicking the hot button right here, the blank bit of paper. You're going to be greeted by this screen here, which says New Project. So you're going to put the name in the project, just because this is going to be tutorial season, I will write Tutorial Game. That's, that's the name of your project file. This is the game title's name, so let's just call that Flugenbast. That's probably a word in German, I don't know. Here is the location where it's going to save to. At the moment it's saved into um, one of my SSD drives, but if you want to save it to somewhere else then you can click on this and choose where exactly you wish to save your game. After that click OK. Now it's going to take about five hours to render everything. That's an exaggeration, it'll take about a minute depending on how fast your computer is. So we'll let that get all the way through and then we'll start straight off with creating your first level. Alright guys, and BAM! You are greeted with this entire screen. You've just been given a plethora of information, so let's get through some of it. Right here, you have your level. This is your map editor, this is where everything you do. This is where you draw mountains, this is where you uh, create events and NPCs and all that sort of lovely stuff. So that's all that. Over on the left you have your uh, your map making tools so you can go down here and choose different tiles that you wish to place on your map. Down here you have uh, different types of map making tools so you can switch from A which is all this sort of stuff to B. You got some lovely mountain ranges, you got a little castle, um, in C, you've got some more, you've got some more, you know, uh, future age stuff. So let's get rid of all of that. I'll go through a few quick basic tools. So right up the top here, you've got this blank page, which is new project. Obviously, we've just done that. Right here next to it, the manila folder is to save project. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and save the project. You can also, you just save it as whatever, but you can just click save. Right over here, you have... Sorry, that's save project, that is open project. My bad, I am giving you false information. Um, right over here is the undo key, so you can undo things that you've just done. Right here we've got the two, the two main tools you'll be using. This is the map tool right here. This allows you to draw directly onto the screen. This right here is the event tool. This allows you to click and open up the events where you'll get a plethora of options on how you want to run your game. Don't worry, I've got other tutorials covering this and I'll cover this in future tutorials for the beginnings. So let's just leave that for now. In your map tools over here, you've got your draw tool, your pen tool, which allows you to draw a map. So if we go and select something over here, you can draw. You've got your rectangle tool where you can rectangle a map. You've got your ellipse tool where you can ellipse onto the map. Get rid of all that. And then you've got your fill tool where you can fill in a map. You've got also the shadow tool which allows you to paint shadows onto your map if you so wish. So we'll just get rid of all that and we'll start off by creating our first map. So if, we'll just, if you want to just delete this first map that's made, we'll go right here and we'll go new. Now up the top you get to name your map, so if you've got naming conventions for your game you can put that here. We'll just put this as WM1, which stands for World Map 1. It doesn't matter because then you've got the display name over here which you can say Earth Gaia Terra. 
Now you get to choose your tile set down here. So you've got Overworld, which is your world map. You've got a bunch of other tile sets like Outside, Inside, Dungeon, Outside, um, Sci-Fi, and Inside Sci-Fi. You can add more tile sets later on, but these are the stock standard ones you get when you buy RPG Maker MB. So these are the ones with, that this tutorial will have. So we're just going to go with the Overworld for the moment. The first level we'll create is a world map. Now over here you get to define whether it's a, what size your map is. So this defines how many 48 by 48 pixel tiles are on screen. We're just going to change this to 20 by 20. And you'll understand later on like what I mean by tiles and how they affect everything. Down here we can select a BGM, that's background music. So we'll just select one of these ones. That one sounds great. It's also very obnoxious if you have your headphones turned up or really loud. So you can select that track, a bunch of all this other stuff which we won't worry about just yet. So let's get right into it and here is our map. Remember if you hold control and zoom out with your mouse wheel, you can zoom in and out. Alright, so what we want to do is we want to go over to the fill tool over here. And then we're going to select, let's select this one right here just to fill in our map. Then maybe we'll add, go over to our draw tool, away from our fill tool, our draw tool. We can add just a little ocean. So, da 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 da. Um, and then we'll fill the rest of that in with our fill tool. Also, you've got over here a bunch of trees. So you can, the trees are auto tiled, so you can place one down individually, you can place two down like this, you can place four down like that, and it will automatically tile to how you want it. No matter what you do, it'll automatically tile. You've also got some mountain ranges over here that you can run along again if you can put one, two, three, four. But the second you mix a, mix them up in four tiles, it'll create one here. So that's what you can do. You can run around and let it auto tile your mountain ranges out. You can also add some rivers if you want. So make a little nice river coming in through here. Um, and if your character isn't already initialized, I'll show you how to do that. What you do is you go into the event pages up here, you right click, set starting position, player, and then you can move him around. And when you want to edit the map, don't forget to click back over into the map editor. So I've got some mountains, we've got some um, trees. Let's click over to the B section. Here we can add, we'll add like a little town over here. Um, we, can, we can add a castle as well at the end of the river. We also add this broken down wizard's tower down here. In fact, it would be really cool if we just make some trees and then add the broken down wizard's tower in the trees. Yeah, that looks cool. Also guys, don't forget if you right click on the tiles, so let's say I right click here, you can then left click and it, so right clicking copies it to your clipboard. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Right click copies it to your clipboard and left click just pastes it. So if, yeah, I can, right click the trees and I can left click it down or I can right click the mountains and then I can left click them down just like that. Um, that's going to be all for today's tutorial. This is just creating a basic level. Tune in next time where I take you through how to make a different map as well as transfer the player between those two maps. I've been Level Up Design. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you want to follow me on other of my social media accounts, you can look in the description. I've got uh, LinkedIn, I've got Instagram, Facebook. So don't forget to see more in the description and follow me there. there also, there'll be links posted to the left, right and center at the end of this video to direct you to the next video of the RPG Maker MB beginning tutorials. Thank you guys for watching.